Are you just gonna go into the ocean? Is that what you're gonna do? Whatever happened to edge detection? Can't you det- No! No! Okay. I guess he doesn't like my, uh, my village that much after all. How's it going everybody? My name is Finpire. We've got some more Sly Rancher for you today. That's right, we're gonna be building some more things on this little ranch that we've got here. We're gonna be expanding it out in this direction. Way out this way. I kind of had this idea for like a, kind of like a little bit of a, kind of like a little narrow canyon walk. And then, we're going to build a wasteland. That's what we're gonna build. And it's, I'm, I'm envisioning this massive expanse of reasonably sort of flat terrain. Maybe with like a big sort of cliff thing in the middle. It, it sounds crazy, but I think it's gonna be cool and I can't wait to see it. It might even be something that spans a few episodes because I, I think it's gonna take a little while to build. So it's gonna be awesome. Also let you guys know that I'm gonna be playing Ark Scorched Earth tomorrow. So I kind of wanted to play another game that's kind of has elements of building and things like that in it as well. So look out for that one. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And like always, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. That way I know you guys are enjoying this series. Okay, let's get to building. Oh, and someone <laughs> wanted to know what this little swirly thingy is here. See that little swirly majig? Yeah, that's like, that's where my body is kind of technically located. Um, there's probably a, the gun or the vac thing around here somewhere. I don't know, I can't see it. But my body, my body at the moment, we've kind of like separated, you know, kind of like we're dead and we're a ghost floating away from the body. That's what that's about. So, anyway, let's start building out here. Um, like I said, I want to build like a, kind of like a little narrower sort of bit to kind of feel like you're sort of leading towards a path and then like, BAM! Big open area, in your face, enjoy, get lost. Area block. Uh, we don't need anything that's that big. How big are these? Yeah, these things are freaking huge. It's sort of rectangular though, which is kind of good. Maybe if we pick something, because I kind of wouldn't mind going for that with the walls, but then maybe like a lighter color for the, for the ground there. So let's uh, see what else we got. Okay, maybe we'll build it out with this. So let's, we'll have a little bit of a step down. Um, we'll kind of go like this, there we go, that's kind of flat, it's not too bad though, I don't mind it being flat. Um, we kind of need it to sort of step down a bit, so let's build another one. We can kind of have it step down and angle it a bit, so it starts to go down a little bit, there we go. I'm just kind of sizing it up just so I can see what's going on, I need to be able to see. Okay, I'm get another one, kind of more like this I guess. There we go, it sort of straightens it out a little bit. I'm kind of curving it, just to kind of, just so everything doesn't feel too flat, you know? Okay, then it's gonna come up again, and then it's getting dark. <laughs> Damn it! Why? Why are you always dark? Ah, uh, okay, all right. We need daylight, we need daylight so we can see what we're doing. I have a bit of a trick up my sleeve, ready? Let's go, emergency return. Hopefully, that'll knock us out. And then we'll just go to the next day. And then we can build in the daylight. See? Look at that! Um, I, how, how many days was that? I don't know. Oops. I think we'll go up, and then we'll kind of like drop down. And then, just, bam. Land for days. It's just gonna be loads of land. Okay. Big, big land. Lots and lots of land. Alright, that's looking good. That's looking good. I mentioned before that I don't really want to see too much water. All of this is going to be surrounded by walls eventually, so you're not going to be able to see all the water and things. And I'm going to build kind of like mountains up to the side. Yeah, that's the idea anyway. Bigger, 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 bigger. Just massive. Gotta go massive. Cool. How much of an angle is that on? It's kind of sloping downwards. Not, not really what I wanted. Oh, nah, that's not too bad. That's actually okay. What do we got here in Sand Trap? What is this here? There must be some cool stuff in here, you'd think, right? Uh, kinda. We got rocks that look like bananas. Um, I kinda want something different than that. Given that we're going for like a whole wasteland feel. These are cool! These aren't too bad, I like these. I'm gonna kinda put this around the side here, because we can use these to sort of get back up later on. There we go. Kinda maybe something like this. Yeah, that's cool. Very cool. This is actually harder than you think. <laughs> it's really difficult. I'm trying my best. I've never made a wasteland before, but I'm trying my best. Okay, here's the size of our wasteland. It's pretty damn big. 
when you think about it. It's massive. There's like a lot of seams and things like that here. Don't worry about those, because we're going to cover those in like little bits of rock and, you know, little sort of bits of mountain and that sort of stuff. Um, so it's going to look pretty cool, but this thing is huge. I love how it kind of just opens up and then it's just this big wide open area. That's awesome. I'm just filling in this little area down the side here so we can kind of have our little tunnel way that goes through out into the entrance of the wasteland. It's kind of tricky to place these things. It, it really is because you kind of you have to have like a bird's eye view but then it's difficult to see how high they are because you don't want them to be too small. You don't. Um, but this is, I think this is okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go like this. There we go. I'll just put a couple like this just to kind of get like a bit of a sense of I don't know, like mountains off in the distance, you know what I mean? Just so that when you're looking back at it from this angle, it doesn't look like you can just <laughs> see the side of like all the mountains that we've put in. Because that kind of takes away from the, the whole magic, you know what I mean? Maybe some crags? No, that's not it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Maybe something like this. What's this? Yeah, they look alright. Yeah, they actually look pretty good. They're called a rock cave, but they look so much better. Not in a cave. It's funny the things that you find, you know what I mean? You almost... It's kind of like repurposing, like you're recycling all these little pieces of things. See from here, that looks awesome. That looks really damn good. Um, we could probably use some rocks and stuff like that, but that's all the detail. We'll put those in later. All right, I'm going to start building up the edge um, so that we can kind of get a bit of a feel for what this area space is going to feel like. Um, okay, what are we going to use? Level structure, area, no. <laughs> no. Um, okay, like this. And I'm going to put it on like an angle so that it kind of, it feels like it sort of sweeps up to the sides. That's the idea or the feel that I'm going for. It's hard to get the angle right though. Very hard. I don't like really doing these videos where there's not a lot of slimes and stuff in them. Because I mean the game's called Slime Rancher, you know. Uh, but some of these videos are a little bit like that because they're just... It takes so long to build out these sort of really big expansive areas. Sorry for this sort of a lack of slimes, but we'll get there. We'll get there. There'll be slimes at some point. Just got to build this out first. Patience. Patience. This is cool because it's going to be like basically a big dust bowl. That's what it's going to be. And that's kind of a cool name for it when you think about it. We call it the dust bowl. I might leave a bit of an opening up the back here because I think we could probably add something. Maybe like an area that goes down to a beach, something like that. That would be really cool, so I might just sort of leave that block there like that, and I'm not going to build the rest of it up too much. Just remember, if you have any ideas, chuck them in the comments below. Like anything, big, little, it doesn't matter. Your ideas are what's going to build this thing. We're going to try and get in as many of your ideas as we can. It's funny, I went back the other day and I played the level that I made in the first series, and I just, I, I couldn't believe how big it actually was. How many areas we managed to fit into it at the end. It was really big. We had like the floating islands, we had, we had like a ruins area, we had like a, what were they, like a fort kind of area, like a, like a wooden fort area. I wouldn't mind doing something like that again. Maybe like a forest with some tree houses, that would be cool. Just gonna start chucking these around the edge, just to sort of start to fill out the sort of mountainy sort of area at the, the very sort of perimeter of the wasteland. God, this is taking forever. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't anticipate it taking this long. <laughs> it's taken a while. Um, oh, okay, come on. We can do this quick. We can do this quick. I kind of have a bit of an idea about where I want to put them, so I can smash it out very, very quickly. There we go. Okay, the perimeter is in. <laughs> that took me about 15 minutes of just going around the edge there. But look at this. And I also put this here, you know, kind of... It's, it's my creative license, man. I can do whatever I want. But that is cool, man. That is cool. Um, I don't know whether to build something like that, but a lot bigger. You know, like just this big sort of thing coming out in the middle. I don't know. I don't know. I, I got to think about that. It, it's going to take a little bit of time to sort of plan. Because I don't want to stuff it up. I really don't want to stuff it up. I want this to look perfect. I reckon we should take a look at it in-game. See how it looks. How we doing, fellas? Just hanging out in there. Yeah, you can't get out of there, can you? Get back in! Get back in! <laughs> Damn it! Oh no, he can he can go out there. <laughs> how how did I manage to get him through the bars? 
I don't know. I'm just hanging around a little bit because I'm waiting for the sun to come up. I want to go out there when the sun's like hitting it because I reckon that'll be the best. So that way it's not all sort of overshadowed and things and it'll kind of look rubbish. <laughs> but I'll wait for the sun to come up. Man, I'm really looking forward to doing the mine area. The mine's gonna be cool. There's so many wooden parts that we can use to build the mine. All we really need to do is kind of work out how to get, you know, a regular sort of mine shape and then we'll just use like you know, bits of wood to sort of look like the, you know, the support parts inside of a mine shaft. How they have that old sort of, old wood sort of holding it up. And then I thought we could use wood to create the tracks. And maybe even use some wood to sort of fashion like a cart or something like that. Are you just gonna go into the ocean? Is that what you're gonna do? Whatever happened to edge detection? Can't you det- No! No! Okay. I guess he doesn't like my uh, my village that much after all. Okay, here we go. We're going through. We're gonna take a look. How is this gonna look in game? I don't know whether the sense of size will be different, but it's pretty huge. That is really cool. I'm liking this. There's a few sort of rough areas, you know, some areas that need tidying up with like just covering with rocks and things like that or other bits of mountain. Um, I tried to kind of layer the land a little bit to kind of look like it was, I don't know, like it was kind of rough, you know what I mean? Uh, but there are obviously areas like this that need fixing up that don't look very good. These bits that kind of look like they're stacked pieces of cardboard. <laughs> That's sort of what they look like. But we'll work that out. We'll work it out later on. This is really damn cool. It kind of looks like a castle there in the distance. I mean, it, it, it's no Fallout 4, <laughs> but you know, for, for something that I can build, it's pretty big. I may even take a section out of here to sort of make it feel like it's a little bit more open because at the moment it does feel a little bit sort of closed in. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you reckon it feels too closed in? I'm going to leave the video here for now though. I'm not going to add anything else in this episode. In the next episode though, we'll continue on with the building. We're going to clean this up a little bit, add some more mountains and stuff. Maybe start adding in some rocks and things like that. I did say that this particular area was going to take a little while, so I don't know if it's something that we'll sort of come back to, but I'm going to add some stuff off camera as well, so don't worry about that. You're not going to watch me place down like pebble by pebble. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>